Hello, my name is Darkman Doll, and today I'm going to do a show for Dream Talk. Dream Talk is a show where I share with you the dreams that I have, and I explain how I decipher those dreams to make them more understandable to me. And I also answer your questions about your dreams to help them make to help to make them more understandable to you as well, because your dreams do tell you a lot about what's going on in your waking world. <coughs> So today, what I wanted to share with you is a dream that I had um, a few nights ago, and um, it was very eye-opening, and it's pretty personal too, but as you can see on this channel, I do share a lot of personal things, because I feel like these personal things can help others that are going through something similar. So um, I'll share with the dream I had. I got a new dream journal a while back. Um, just didn't have a pen to write it in because it's black paper. <laughs> but I found, luckily I found like a, 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 it was a Sharpie, a silver Sharpie pen. <laughs> so anyway, here's a dream. I dreamt that I was waiting in line with someone I didn't know. I looked behind me and saw my brother Enoch standing in line with the woman he looked to be, who looked to be pregnant. I looked my brother in the eyes and he looked right through me as if I wasn't there. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, let me put my hat on <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, my cat's at the door. Hold up. I'm going to go grab my cat really quick. All right. Hold on. Let me grab my cat. I'll be right back. All right, come in. You coming in? Okay. Uh, uh, squeeze into this spot so yeah um, not too long ago my brother sent me a series of texts where he uh, pretty much is like disowned me doesn't want nothing to do with me told me that um, yeah a bunch of really negative shit and um, <clears throat> it really disturbed me because I don't feel like that I, I did anything to warrant this uh, threat not threat. It wasn't a threat. It was just a, I, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Um, it came as a shock to me when that happened. It was a few months ago, and um, I just didn't know how to react to it. I was very upset. I cried about it. I was depressed about it because um, he's my older brother, and he's all he's the only person in my family, as far as siblings, that I really felt like I connect to. Uh, on a deeper level, spiritual level, and all that, <clears throat> when I wasn't there to help him, uh, like for a place to stay and all that, recently, I didn't respond to his text right away when he was reaching out. I didn't get the text till the next day, but anyway, that's another story. Um, he got really upset and just sent me a series of texts that were very angry and mean, and um, I don't think it, I, I deserve that kind of treatment. So in the dream, Obviously, for me, when me having a dream about my my brother and me looking at him and him looking straight through me, meaning it's confirmed he wants nothing to do with me at all, and I'm and I'm fine with that now. I made peace with that. <clears throat> we hadn't seen each other for years anyway, and um, you know we he'd come in and out of my life. And I never complained about the fact that he would come in and out of my life. I was just always thankful when he did show up in my life. And I never complained about him. And I always would say really encouraging things to him. And I would hope that whatever I said helped. And whenever he come by, when he did come by, he said encouraging things to me about my art and everything. So, um, <clears throat> but this last go around, whatever this was about, I kind of feel like it wasn't about me. So um, within the dream, I, I saw it for what it was. He doesn't want anything to do with me. And whatever, so be it. Um, <clears throat> the whole pregnant woman thing in there, I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> like with, with every dream, you can dissect it and pull it apart and look at it and see what it means for you. And I haven't done that completely with this dream as of yet, but I have it basic understanding of what this dream is about and um you know you can't please everybody you can't make everybody happy you just have to be you and if people don't like who you are 
then that's just how it is. They just don't like who you are, you know, and I just have to move on. You know, it does, it did hurt really bad when that happened because I felt like we were close, you know, and we've been through a lot together, been through the same dysfunctional family <clears throat> and we were cordial to each other for the longest of times and polite, respectful, but then he said all that junk to me and I'm not interested in having anything to do with him and obviously has nothing, has no interest in having anything to do with me. So, um, so be it, you know, that's how I feel about it. Um, <clears throat> some people try to grasp on to their biological family because they feel they have to, because they're connected by blood. I don't because <clears throat> I don't deserve to be disrespected. I don't deserve to be yelled at in a, in a, um, in a text message of all things. I don't deserve that. And neither do you if something like that happens to you, even if it's family or not family, you have to stick up for yourself. You know, I've been working hard and I've been doing a lot of things on a personal level for myself that he or nobody else knows about, you know, nobody really knows you unless they actually take an interest and ask you about what's going on with you. So yeah, <clears throat> having dreams really does wake your mind up and reaffirms a lot of the things that you know are true about what's going on in your world. So be very awake and be very aware and realize that sometimes the family you make <laughs> could be a lot more stronger than the family that you were born into. So, alrighty guys, I'm just making this a short video because I haven't done anything in a while because I just moved and um, I'll have more videos coming your way and I hope you guys enjoyed today's show and my hair's all dripping because I just got out of the shower, <clears throat> but I hope you enjoyed today's show and just stay strong in who you are and i don't care if it's your family member or what or not you shouldn't be treated with disrespect especially if you haven't done anything to warrant these attacks because it felt like an attack so um <clears throat> yeah be mindful of your dreams because your dreams give you insight and to what's going on in your waking world and it uh the dream world is there to help you so, alrighty guys, thanks for subscribing to my channel, thanks for the likes and shares, and thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below, and let me know if you've had any dreams similar to what I've had, or or what dreams you're having. Um, always keep a dream journal if you can, by your bedside. And um, only you, the dreamer, really knows what your dream is about. Alrighty guys, brightest blessings to you all, and I will see you soon.